Sewage treatment plant at the center of the closure of a now 15 mile stretch of the Chattahoochee River is still not fixed. The Chattahoochee River Keeper tells Fox 5 that millions of gallons of partially treated sewage continues to spew out daily. On this 4th of July, that has left many looking to cool off high and dry. Fox Rise Tyler Fingert has been live near Sandy Springs in the Chattahoochee National Recreation Area. And Tyler, many folks are upset that they, they can't enjoy the water on this Independence Day. Yeah, Christine, good afternoon to you. A lot of people are disappointed that a roughly 50-mile stretch of the Chattahoochee River remains closed. Many have been coming out to this parking area, families and people looking to have a good time, but they're walking down this sidewalk right here and see this yellow barrier with a sign that says River Closed. Chirping birds are about the only sound you'll hear at the Chattahoochee River Powell's Island tube drop-in location this Independence Day. That was a shock to Katie Wires and Jacob Scovrin, who expected it to be packed. Uh, a lot of our friends shoot the hooch a lot, so we thought it'd be fun to do on the holiday weekend. They bought a brand new tube and all the fixings for a day on the river, only for this sign to dash their plans. That was a pretty clear sign to not do it today. But instead of leaving defeated, they decided to pack up and head north to a spot on the river without high levels of E. coli. We were just like, just disappointed, I guess. A little bit of yeah. fear, we didn't want to get sick. A roughly 15 mile stretch of the Chattahoochee remains closed from the nature center to all downstream sections of the park because of a malfunction at the Big Creek wastewater treatment plant. Great. Chattahoochee River Keeper Jason Olseth says the plant takes in over 20 million gallons of wastewater daily. It's just going through the plant and going into the river because it has no place else to go but the plant is not able to treat it, so we have mostly raw sewage going into the river. Olseth says he's upset that Fulton County has tried to deny this is a sewage spill and downplay what's happening. He says he wants answers on why there's so much E. coli being found in the water. That is a sewage treatment plant. So if this is not sewage going into the river, then I would like for them to explain to me what exactly is it. And we did reach out to Fulton County about the sewage treatment plant, but so far we have not gotten an update today. The Chattahoochee Riverkeeper says that if you want to get into the water, the safest place to do that is anywhere north of the Nature Center.